his help uh, for, uh, let's see, Dave Pratt, uh, let's see, uh, George Dominicus, I think, is he, is George still here? Okay, well, a number of you, and, and the list of hosts and so forth are listed over there. Let me just say thank you to all of you for, uh, for being so supportive of us, and uh, you have a great community here, and I appreciate you coming out tonight. Um, I usually tell a few funny stories, and some of you have heard a few of my funny stories, but I've got an addition that came up over the weekend. Uh, <laughs> some of you heard my story about uh, coming back uh, up I-75 uh, two years ago during the session, and I was trying to get back to the Capitol for a meeting, and it was right around lunchtime, they hadn't had anything to eat, so we pulled into McDonald's, and the young lady behind the counter sees me coming, and she's smiling at me, and she says, my Governor, I am so glad that you're here. And I said, well, I am so impressed that you know who I am because I'd never been in that McDonald's before in my life. And she said, well, yes, I keep up with that sort of thing. And I said, well, I am very impressed that you do that. Well, another young lady behind the counter hears this conversation. She leans over to the first one and she says, who is that? She says, Governor Purdue. <laughs> <laughs> several, several months later, it was almost an identical thing. I'm coming back up I-75, lunchtime. I hadn't had, hadn't had anything to eat, and uh, so we pull into a Wendy's this time. We are well inside the city limits of Atlanta at this point. And so I go up to the counter, and the young lady, she's smiling at me, but she doesn't say anything. So I get my hamburger, and I go on down the line, and my security fella is behind me. He gets up to her, and she says, I saw you looking at me. You didn't think I knew he was the mayor, did you? <laughs> but then I had one Friday. I was uh, I was on my way up to our cabin up in Habersham County. We stopped at a, a little farmer's market area, and Sandra wanted me to buy some apples. So we had this little sack of apples, and I was at the, the checkout counter there going out to pay for my apples. And this big guy, you can tell he was from the mountains of North Georgia. He sort of gruff looking and he comes up beside me and, and I thought he said Ray but he says uh, you're Ray Barnes aren't you <laughs> he was obviously trying to say Roy but I thought he said Ray so I didn't didn't react I said no I'm, I'm Nathan Deal he said oh and so I was turning around paying for my apples and his wife apparently just got on his case really something bad and uh, he said turn around he told me he said I'm sorry about that Roy Barnes comment. Um, and then you know how when you when you do something one way, you try to compensate? He overcompensated. He said, I'm sorry about that Roy Barnes comment. I just think we ought to secede. <laughs> <laughs> so you never oh, know. Boy. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I am pleased to be here. Uh, I have enjoyed the visit with so many of you, and I understand we're going to have a little... Uh, town hall type meeting here in just a few minutes to talk with some other folks. Let me thank you for the folks that you send us uh, in the General Assembly, <clears throat> and I thanks for all of them being here this evening. I, I really do appreciate that. They've made my job a whole lot easier. Uh, we've had a very cooperative uh, member of members of the General Assembly, and we've gotten a lot of things done on the two years that I've had the opportunity to serve as governor, and I hope we will continue that during these next two years. Uh, we have had a rather aggressive agenda. We've done a lot of good things. Uh, we have uh, had major reform of our criminal justice system. We've had major reforms of our tax code this past year. And um, you, will, you will see it at some point when you uh, get around to your paying your taxes and buying your tag and, uh, and, paying your, and filing your individual income tax returns, but we've actually cut your taxes. So... Um, Hopefully that will be a benefit. We've done some other things that we've tried to stimulate business in our state, and one of those was to reduce or and eliminate the uh, sales tax on energy that's used for manufacturing. And uh, we already have seen the benefit of that. We've had companies like Caterpillar and Baxter uh, International that uh, indicated that that was one of the considerations that they gave when they decided to come to Georgia. So we think all of that's going to pay off for us. Uh, I want to thank... Uh, I want to thank Ron Jackson and uh, Loretta, who is your head of your technical school here, uh, for the great support that the technical college system gives us. As you may know, Ron is the head of our technical college system for the state of Georgia, does a great job, 
one of the things that we offer as a state that <laughs> distinguishes us, I think, from most every other state is that we have what's called a quick start program that is administered through our technical college system in which we say to an employer that if you will come to our state or if you expand in our state that uh, we will train your employees.